What's going on guys, Ben Glugin here coming back at you with another video and today we got another debut. This one is the official debut video for 99, Gary Sheffield, former Yankee. I'm a Yankees fan, um, but I'm also not going to rub it in your face that I am. It's, I don't know. Some hey, People hate Yankees fans and the Yankees in general. I get it. But Gary Sheffield, you'd think he'd be bigger than 5'11 for the type of punch that he packed at the plate, but insane contact, power, vision. He's got a cannon of an arm. We'll be playing him in right field. I've used him a little bit in BR, and of course, in ranked seasons, played one game. Wasn't too great with him. Like These aren't terrible numbers, obviously, but I'd like to be a little bit better than that. But uh, Gary Sheffield, yeah, he's going to be hitting in the three hole for us. We're going to move him just in front of Mickey Mantle. Still got Tatis Torres in front of him and then Sheffield Mantle should be pretty good. Should have some great opportunities for him to drive home some runs today. And uh, we'll see if we can do that. Currently, we are, I want to say, 2-0 in ranked seasons. 3-0, hitting 419. Uh, would like that to get a little bit higher. All right, he's actually got quite a good team. I like it. Joey Gallo, God tier. Rendon, Mookie Betts, Lodi Tavares, Jeff Bagwell. I didn't get to see the rest of his team. He's got 88 Alex Reyes on the mound. He is 2-5, and five, though, against our 3-0. and oh. He's got a pretty good team, so this might not be, uh, you know, an easy win. Don't be a double play. Okay, there we go. We got runners on first and second for Gary Sheffield. Let me tell you, this sinker uh, feels like it's coming in pretty hard. I think I'm on all-star difficulty now because the pitches just seem faster in general. They seem way faster, so I just got to get used to it. I'm early on that one, but... Gary Sheffield in his debut. Perfect, perfect. Oh my God, and the center fielder dives right by it. What are you doing? Can we get three with Gary? We're going to go for it. 71 speed. He throws to the cut. No play a third. Two nothing already. We're only hitting 286 with Mickey Mantle. Now, I've heard not great things about him. I thought it was just, you know, like, whatever. And a part of it is probably being over anxious at the plate, as the connection in this game is great. Mickey's going to get the RBI there, but like, what a waste. What a waste. Lace with Joey Gal a little bit early on it. A lot early, as that was a uh, changeup right in the zone. Couldn't do too much with it. We got a 3 nothing lead. Going to want to start hitting a lot better. As you got Luis Castillo on the mound. Primary pitch is the changeup. Wanted to try him out. Wanted to see how that feels. And he, he throws gas. He has a nasty slider. Could be a really fun car to use, as he's already showing bunt. I want to beat the brakes off this dude. I need to get this slider actually in. Overcompensated that time. Haven't shown him the fastball. Still don't want to. He's flailed on the circle change every time I've thrown it. So there it is again. Just gets a piece. Could be time for the heater. I don't think it is, though. I think it's more circle change time. Here's the circle change. And there is the strikeout. Got him. We'll throw a heater to Rendon, just because I don't think he's going to be ready for it. First time, fastball up and away. I think it's going to be take all the way from him. Couldn't get the strike, though. Might be a tough play for Tatis. Spin and the out. That's the athleticism at shortstop that Fernando Tatis Jr. offers you. And the hose, of course. Could be a tough play for Mantle. He's got a ton of speed, and he tracks that one down. Great work. I don't think we're going to friendly quit. No. And he's quit regularly. I might have friendly if I wasn't up 3 nothing, or if he didn't show bunt on me. Don't like that. It's just disrespectful, okay? I don't like it. Ooh, another pretty good team. This guy's throwing Blake Snell. He's got Jose Altuve, Javi Baez, Christian Yelich, 91 Bagwell. He's got Juan Soto, Gary Sheffield, Wilson Contreras. He's batting Blake Snell eighth. And then 86 Mickey Mantle batting ninth. So a pretty good team. You could argue that this team is better than the team that we're fielding. Besides 99 Mickey Mantle and 99 Sheffield. All right, I am 4-0. He is 3-0. One of us is going to lose. What is the connection today, dude? I like these high stakes games. Two undefeateds go into the arena. Only one will leave still undefeated. And he takes that curveball. That's crazy to me. So, could be playing a very patient player here. Which I'm fine with. We'll continue to attack the zone. And beat him. Ooh, okay. Hit with Jose Altuve. Probably just should have beamed him. He's going to get on anyway. Paddock is pretty nice to locate with. If he gets a diamond down the line, which I would hope that he would, um, could be really nice. 
Throws a good heater, too. Not that hard. That was only a 94 two seamer. I think he could probably get up to 97 on that four seam, maybe. We'll see. Heater by him, 96. Now we're turning up the velo clock a little bit. Throw it again, 96. Look at this curveball. It's going to be a beauty. And it is. Mickey Mantle showcased the range here. That one's going to hang up, and he gets to it. Let's go up and hit. Really hate Blake Snell's release a lot. He has this weird over-the-top hitch that makes it very difficult to actually see the ball. So would love to get him out of the game as soon as possible. And I guess, I guess the best way to do that would be to hit him hard, but that's going to be difficult. Here's the 3-1. Gary Sheffield on deck. Would love to get a runner on base in front of him. Debut video. Let's do something with him. Let's hit one to the moon. He's just avoiding the strike zone. But there's Sheffield poking that one into right center. There we go. Can we get two? We're going to try it. 71 speed is pretty good. Long animation in center means we're at second base easily for Mickey Mantle. And that one, I'm... It's just things feel dead off the bat of Mickey Mantle, dude. He's throwing a third. It, that was a weird play. I'll take the RBI, though. Nah, he's totally whiffed on that one. Jeez, man, very late jammed. He got me with a heater. I hate the Snell release. It's just really tough to pick up the ball. I threw a fastball right down the middle. That'll happen. Lucky it's only a double, I guess. Hung that one. Can Tatis make this play? Run on Mickey Mantle. That's a perfect throw home. Oh, he would have been out by a mile. <laughs> That's a wise decision with nobody out. Oh, we got the strikeout. That's beautiful. And he goes home. You can't run in a rundown. There we go. It locked me up. Chase him down. And at second, almost got the triple play. I don't know why he tried to to go. There. Likely what happened is he tried to go to second to force the throw to second and then run home. But he ended up going to a home off the bat. And uh, we're out of the inning very easily. Because there's no way Blake Snell gets a hit here. And we struck him out. I missed my spot badly. We almost walked him, it felt like. But we get out of it. Here's bottom of the second. Up one nothing. It's What am I doing? This Blake Snell release just has me swinging out of my shoes. Gallo, no doubter. Crushed. Heater down the middle. That's where it's going to end up. Go get it. Underneath it was Suarez. Just yanked down too far. Thought that was going to be a little bit lower than it ended up being. I mean, got a good piece of that with Paddock. All over it, but uh, we're going to line out. I've thrown it away almost. Good play by Olsen. I don't know why he went for the tag instead of stepping on the base. But uh, I almost screwed that up with Gary. All right, we're out of the inning pretty easily there. Out of the half inning. Um, really, really need to put up some more runs here. Top of the order. Let's see if we can start to do that. Not a bad start. Ripping that one in the left with Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll take that. Good speed on first two. Should have a base runner on for Gary Sheffield. I mean, unless Glaber hits one out. No double plays. I mean, that one's hit pretty well. Unfortunately, it's just going to be a flyout near the wall. Just missed that with Glaber. Need that a little bit more centered towards the PCI. Ball was off towards the right. But on the bright side, we got a runner up on the bases for the man of the video, Gary Sheffield. And I totally missed. That's going to be another right center field punched ball. We're a little bit late on that one, but it doesn't seem to matter. 
Can we run on Mickey Mantle? We're going to send Tatis home. And we'll go three. Tatis, he's got the wheels. Probably double and then advance the third on the throw for Gary Sheffield, who's having a great video. Seems to be a doubles machine. Crushed, Mickey Mantle. I, we needed something, dude. We needed something with Mickey Mantle. Have not been hitting that well with him. That's perfect, perfect. And that's out. Two-run bomb for the Mick. Mikey Mantis. And that is the game. That is the video. Get out of here. Thank you. So, Gary Sheffield, I feel like he played pretty well. I feel like he played pretty well. So, not too bad for us. I will take that. We got the Javi Baez nameplate for, I guess, reaching 250 or something. I don't know. Hitting 430 online. Again, would like to get that to go up a little bit more even. All in all, Gary Sheffield is playing pretty well for us. Up to 500 OPS at 1743. Can't complain about that. I like him. Will he be in the next video? Maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't want to run full God Squad, obviously. I think next up might be the debut of one Craig Biggio. And it would be a big, big Gio debut. <laughs> Whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.